Hi guys, my name is Tim, and today I'm telling you that I'm quitting YouTube. Um, you can probably tell by my voice and face that this isn't the first time I've recorded this, this isn't the third, but every other time it's been a long time since I made a video, so a lot of stuff went wrong. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for all the time and loyalty that you've given me and all of the just the great times thank you for Johnny Noodles Delta Fanboy Azunes Deranged Shadow Grazer way back when he was the first guy who paid for my uh, one piece name two private servers I think let me do all those videos a long, long time ago. And I'll tell you guys why I'm quitting now. So, I have been thinking about stopping YouTube for a few months. I think that like six. I brought it up a while ago with my family and no one really had a care for it, but it's taking up time in my life that I feel I need to spend on other things, and those other things, I will, I'll take the time that when we would be streaming together, I will devote them to those things. There are two projects that I really need to work on that are my new calling. So the real reason is that God is God. I'm Christian, if you didn't know. And I felt him pulling on my heart to stop YouTube for months. And I've been ignoring him, basically. Disobeying. And it's because this is hard. This channel and you guys are very important to me but I'm sorry to say not more important than God I'm not that sorry to say but I'm sorry to inform you guys you know so I, I think the time in which this was the plan for me that I could have done YouTube has passed and I was asked to make a leap of faith, jump into this, and I didn't. I held on to what was safe, did what, you know, was expected of me and by others around me, and I didn't jump into this. And then I didn't work hard enough. I broke my promise. I said I'd just keep working harder, and I stagnated. So, that's two failures right there. And I know I'll be forgiven <laughs> for everything that I've done here, but that doesn't mean living in consistent disobedience is okay. I didn't tell you guys this, but last year around Thanksgiving we were going over what we were grateful for in church and I couldn't think of anything at first I kept being like I'm not really thankful for much I've been given what I need and I'm thankful for God in my heart and for my family and of course I'm grateful for everything I have but that doesn't mean I'm thankful for it you know I'm kind of a butt in the way that I'm kind of just <sighs> ungrateful, that's the phrase, or unthankful, I guess, in this case, but none of that was, that was just regular thanks, right, but then I thought in that moment that I'm thankful for you guys, 
And I'm thankful for this channel and the time that I got to spend with you guys and the times that I hope I've helped you guys out and the times that you guys have helped me out. And just because I'm quitting YouTube doesn't mean I'm not there anymore. I'll still be on my Discord channel, so anyone who needs someone to talk to or wants to be there, I still want it to be a pleasant atmosphere and a friendly atmosphere. I'll still respond. I'm still alive, you know? As long as I'm still alive, I'll try to respond. And if you guys want to hang out, you know, just play some games when I'm free, I'll probably, uh, probably be down if I'm not already doing something else. But it won't be during stream times, because I'm devoting that time to research and progress on my projects that I feel God is calling me towards. And those two projects, I'll name them for you. AdShare, and I want to work in Haiti. I want to start business down there of some kind. I have a couple life ideas, but I don't want anyone getting ahead of me now, do I? So I hope you guys can be understanding. I know it's hard to understand plans of God, especially when I say, like, all this stuff that it's great and I should... They all sound like I should continue, but I, I, I can't. I've asked many, many times to keep going at YouTube and every single time I feel in my heart that that's not where I'm going. I don't want to be like I just recently read in the Bible again the story of the rich man. I don't know if any of you know it but I'll just give you a little idea of it now. There is a rich young noble I don't know if he's a noble, but a rich young man. And he goes to Jesus, Jesus, and he asks him, how do I get into heaven? You know? Like, am I going to go to heaven? I followed all of God's rules down to the letter. How do I get into heaven? And Jesus says, if you followed all of my father's rules, then drop, you know, sell everything, give the money to the poor and follow me. And the rich man leaves crestfallen and sad because he has a lot of stuff that he's holding on to, a lot of worldly things. And Jesus says later that it'd be easier for a camel to fit through the eye of a needle than it would be for a rich man to get into heaven. On your own, of course, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Anyone who believes in him shall not die, but have eternal life, right? But that doesn't mean that I can continue to live in a disobedience of continuing to do this, regardless of how I feel like I should stop. So... I hope you guys can understand if you're Christian, and if you're not, then I hope you can understand that this doesn't mean I don't care about you guys, or that I'm leaving completely. I'll still be here on, on Discord, and I might post some videos about vlogs and let you guys know how life's going. I don't know. Probably not. So I want to thank you guys. And this is not easier, any easier to say. This is the third time. But God bless. And uh, goodbye. Goodbye, my YouTube channel. Not goodbye to the people, but by the thing that I've been working five years on. Who knows? 
Katie, after being obedient like this, something good will happen to you guys. <sighs> God bless and goodbye.